joining us. Uh, we're here on Movie Phone. Uh, I'm Adam Horovitz. Adam Yauk. I'm Mike Diamond, a.k.a. Mike D, and you're watching uh, Unscripted. Mm. Welcome aboard. Although it is kind of scripted. It's semi-scripted. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, sort of loose script. It's a partial end, and, and you just sort of, you know, fill in the blanks. Mm. The questions. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, so. I'm a little upset about that right now because, uh, you know, we weren't told that, you know, because I usually like to work on book. But, you know, here we're at, you know, Sundance and just anything can happen. Yeah. So here we go. Um, could I interject at this moment? Whenever you want. Uh, I do also want to add that I didn't have my usual approval. Yeah. Over all the questions, I did not get a chance to look at them prior to this, and things might get to be Jan and Wright, you know, uncomfortable, um, filled with controversy, yeah. um, and heated in here. So I just want to warn everybody that's possible. Don't you? Yeah. Do you concur? Yeah, I'm with you. Whatever. You, I didn't. Really, I wasn't paying attention when you were talking, but I'm with you, uh -huh. Mike. Mm. <laughs> and also to yeah. anyone in the room, if Mike attacks Adam, just let him work it out. It's like you have to let them, let them have. Yeah. You know, just. Get through it. Mike's on parole right now. <laughs> That's a lie. And you know it. Okay, so, Mike, I'd like to ask you a question. Oh, I bet you do. Who first coined the phrase, slam you on the couch in front of your wife? Um, I believe that would be Arthur Bliss. Yeah, uh, yeah. Arthur Googie Bliss. Yes, he, he first put Googie? that out yes. there. Yes. Although, I, no I think idea. since um, he purveyed said phrase, I will slam you on the couch in front of your wife, this has been something you and I have been practicing. <laughs> We've been keeping it alive. But Mike, do you recall who he said it to? Um, <laughs> you, wait, wait. Not Gary Harris. What was the guy's no, name? Gary Lucas. Gary, Gary Lucas. Lucas. Yes. A lot of celebrities in this story, by the way. We have G Gary Lucas, guitar player. Arthur Googie Bliss of the Misfits. Drummer. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad we got that cleared up. I would like to ask you a question. Uh, who came up with the idea for having fans shoot the movie? Actually, it was Bliss. It's really? Oh, yeah. He's really, come, he's like a, yeah. an idea man that I didn't yeah. realize. Bliss has just been really involved. It, and I, partially it came to me, it had to do with when he was talking about slamming, uh, slamming Gary Lucas on the couch in front of his wife. That uh, <laughs> something, when I heard about that, just mm. something clicked. You thought the couch, concert, cameras. Because, yeah. well, let me guess, because from what you're saying, Adam, I feel like, Sometimes there are moments that are pivotal moments in our lives where we feel, I wish I would have had 50 cameras to cover that from all the angles. Yeah. Yeah. So I really yeah. could have captured the essence of the event. Because okay. yeah, the truth was that none of us were even there. It was really Ricky Powell that was relaying the uh, story to us. So yeah, if there would have been 50 cameras there. Mm -hmm. I um, have a question because I, I, uh, I found out the answer. And I don't know if you guys remember or not. But, what are you talking about? Um, jo George Washington's teeth. Wood yes. or not wood? They are not wood. They're made out of uh, rhino's tusk. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Did you ever think during pre-production, oh crap, this is a huge mistake? Yeah, actually, all through pre-production, I tried to fight Yauk. I tried to fight, uh, I tried to fight as many people as I could. And I basically just was a huge uh, thorn in the side of the whole thing. I laid down right in the tracks. He's a hothead. And, but they just ran right over me. Right now. Okay, Mike, how do you feel right now? Just be blunt and candid. Angry. How are you? I'm angry, and I'm, I'm this close to jumping right over there. At me? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. I think it's a good time to just let it yeah. out. This Tell is why, why I didn't want to sit in the middle. This is exactly why. Hey, what do you think your fans will be surprised to see uh, in this film? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, what are <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, you know what? The, the one that we call window pane? Yeah. And, uh, you know, window pane's the one with the, uh, the rainbow? Mm. No. He'd probably be surprised to see what he was feeling at that time. Yeah. See himself chipping. I think there'll be uh, people that were caught on camera will be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. There are a couple people embarrassed, you know. How about the man with no shirt? How do you think he's going to feel? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. There's the Horshack looking guy. Yeah. There's some good people out there. Some positive, positive people out there in the audience. I'm glad that we could all sort of, they could shoot us and shoot themselves and film themselves and we could all be in the room together and just sort of document it. Kind of like a high school yearbook. Mm-hmm. Um, Ad rock. Yeah. Uh, unscripted. Um, yes, unscripted. <clears throat> it's a great word. Uh, in Scrabble, that's uh, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, 
uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Yeah, talk about Scrabble. Points. Tell the well, folks at home about... Uh, unscripted is a 15-point word, but it's a bingo, so you get 50-point bonus. And I'm wait, assuming... What you, makes it a bingo, Adam? When you play all seven letters on your rack, mm -hmm. uh, that's a bingo. No. Yes, it's a bingo. It's a 50-point wow. uh, bonus. And, you know, you're bound to hit some, you know, quality premium tiles, uh, we call them, premium squares, uh, which is, you know, the double letter or triple letter or double word, triple word. So uh, unscripted is a good word, I'd say. The UN is always a good prefix, and ED is good at the end. So you'd like to have that on your rack as a good Scrabble player. Is everyone getting this? Yes. Okay. okay good. good. You know, this is a question we were asking. How will Mr. Movie Mr. Movie Movie, <laughs> movie Phone say the, the name of the movie? I actually have a suggestion for the movie phone guy. I think he should cough when the word in question comes up. I think he should just cough a little bit. So Which awesome. Is a suggestion for you. <laughs> so Adam, say how would it, how would it go then? Awesome. I <coughs> shot that. Awesome. I <clears throat> shot that. Yeah. Kind of thing. That was good. Yeah. That, that was, was very good. Well, you know. Maybe we could. They could just. I don't know if the guy has right, a lock. The one good. guy with the voice. Better has a lock on the whole thing, but maybe you could do it. Well, I'm working on some things. I'm, I've been talking to a lot of sponsors since I've been out here at Sundance, and Movie Phone is one of them. Mm -hmm. What are three things you hate about movies? Three things I hate about movies. <clears throat> um, I hate, well, it's weird because I have a love-hate. When people get into really long, active uh, cell phone calls in the, uh, in the movie, we went and saw... I forget what movie it was, and the guy behind me answered the phone and goes, yeah, no, nah, I'm at the movies. <laughs> it's all right. And then just kept talking. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so that's one thing that I kind of love, hate about movies. I think that's enough. That was a long answer. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just say that that was three? Sorry. No, if you got, if you got other ones. Okay. Hey, thank you, Mr. Movie Phone. Thank Big you. Big fans and... Uh, Thanks for watching, sending in the big questions, big was, things. Was that him sending in the questions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he called earlier. Yeah. So everything should be great from now on. Thank well, you very much. Bye. All right, somebody hit delete quick. <laughs>